Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer after smoking. Radon is odorless, colorless, and tasteless. It is a naturally occurring radioactive gas resulting from the decay of radium. Radon in turn breaks down into radon decay products, and these decay products, either free or attached to airborne particles, are inhaled where they further decay in the lungs. It is the emission of high-energy alpha particles during the radon decay process that increases the risk of lung cancer. When radon decay products are inhaled and deposited in the lungs, the alpha emissions penetrate the cells of the epithelium lining the lungs. The EPA, National Cancer Institute, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimate that thousands of lung cancer deaths per year are attributable to radon. Lung cancer is presently the only commonly accepted disease risk associated with radon. Tobacco smoke in combination with radon exposure has a synergistic effect. Smokers and former smokers are believed to be at especially high risk. Scientists estimate that the increased risk of lung cancer to smokers from radon exposure is 10 to 20 times higher than to people who have never smoked. The EPA estimates that as many as 6 million homes throughout the country have elevated levels of radon. Since 1988, the EPA and the Office of the Surgeon General have recommended that homes below the third floor be tested for radon. Short-term testing is the quickest way to determine if a potential problem exists, taking from a few days to more to complete. Radon test kits are available from laboratories and some indoor air quality professionals specialize in radon testing. Short-term testing should be conducted in the lowest lived-in area of the home, with the doors and windows shut. Long-term testing can take up to a full year and is more likely to reflect the home's year-round average radon level than short-term testing. Corrective steps include sealing foundation cracks and holes and venting radon-laden air from beneath the foundation. Professional expertise should be sought for effective execution of these or other measures. For a list of qualified environmental and indoor air quality professionals in your area, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.